But I want you to look at her arm. Oh. But see how I did all the black work already? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you are about to just speed through this. Produced by Juicy. Man, what's up guys? This peanut at one of eight man one 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 North Berry Avenue. Today I'm gonna show y'all the proper way of how you lay a half sleeve or a full sleeve. This is why when you do tattoos, you do all the black work. So now when you come back and you do this session, all it is is just minor blends inside the black and laying a lot of just the skin tones and the individual colors. Just doing lines and black work save you design, save you depth of field when you get ready for your next session. And it allows you to go straight into the color without having to do none of your darks. So you don't have to worry about darks at all. This is the proper way to do a sleeve if you don't piece it up individually, like by one whole piece at a time that's all the way done. Get in there, do the whole tattoo as a whole, put in as many blacks as you can, as solid as you can, and you should be able to knock off a huge chunk of the arm at one time and really slow down the pain problem. So now this is gonna make the color take easier, take deeper, and take brighter, and, we, and it's gonna really reduce the time that we got to do on the session until we get the line and the black is one whole session by itself. So line, black, then color, or individually four colored piece by piece the proper way for you to hold and get out of the sleeve. Also, another pro tip, when you're working on the sleeve, start saving your pictures together in an album, especially if you know that this is like a recurring client or one whole piece that you're working on. So that makes it easier for you to go back and get your references picked up where you left off and you got a solid foundation of being on the next tattoo session of all So, just for a quick second, show you how to one of the quickest ways to execute the proper sleeve.